The Transitional Justice Committee inaugurated last Thursday accounts as one of its priorities the removal of symbols of Taiwan's authoritarian era from public life. The greatest site of contention is Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, the vast memorial to the Generalissimo and former president regarded by many as a dictator. The committee is determined to tone down the cult of personality at the site, but opinions differ as to what should take its place. The changing of the guard every hour on the hour in front of Chiang Kai-shek's statue at CKS Memorial Hall is a must-see for many visitors to Taiwan. But the newly inaugurated Transitional Justice Committee has set its sights on the hall. As symbols of Taiwan's authoritarian era go, it's the symbol to end all symbols. I think that bronze statue is gigantic. It has always been there. Where are you going to move it? There is nowhere to put it. Why don't we keep it there, but let the next generation know what he did to Taiwan, which things were good and which were bad? Big changes are in store for CKS Memorial Hall. Whether it's redesigned as a memorial for the injustices of the authoritarian era, in the same vein as war atrocity museums around the world, or whether the statue is removed or destroyed, and the site given a completely new purpose. When I often invite international scholars who are interested in transitional justice to visit the National Human Rights Museum at Jingmei White Terror Memorial Park, then afterward we go to CKS Memorial Hall. How should we explain why we commemorate both the White Terror and the dictator at the same time? The Transitional Justice Committee officially launched last week. Members have already started airing ideas for the future of Taiwan's most iconic historic site. For many, the promise to remove vestiges of authoritarianism from modern-day Taiwan is a loaded issue. The committee's every move is sure to be scrutinized closely.